not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sex. Greetings, demons, and welcome to my initial reaction to the Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 Mega Cinematic Trailer. So, uh, as you can see, I'm here on the actual premiere. Um, I have some expectations for what we're going to see, but nothing really. I haven't seen any leaks for this trailer specifically, so, uh, we've got the bikes. The new bikes, okay. The quality is going to be a little bit lower in this. I will be going over it in a bit more detail of a downloaded copy that will be higher quality, but... Oh, got some rifted in locations. Okay. I'm really liking the look of these new bikes. Like Tron style bikes. Oh no. Oh no! Well, the leaks were true then. Because we did actually know about that. About uh, Little Whip getting crushed. Is that Drift? That was Aaron Jaeger. Also got uh, VR fish stick, okay. Um, big Peely sign, love to see that. Oh wow, uh, that's, oh, I forget what it's called, the Attack on Titan, uh, Titan attack gear. <laughs> it's not the name of it, but AO. Hey this quality. Okay. So, yeah, we've got all the different tease skins along with this drift skin. Oh, new sword. Okay, that was the trailer. Yeah, to get that downloaded, we'll check it out properly. But first, let's quickly go over the mini trailer that we had before, the intro trailer. Um, hopefully this isn't way too loud. So yeah, a lot of the new mega logos, a little introduction to all the different characters, which is very cool. I really do like this one, the, uh, the rabbit skin. A lot of uh, like Japanese and anime like inspiration here, which is always cool. It's always cool to see stuff like that. A lot of different skins. I'm really excited to see what the like Neo new Neo Tokyo style areas are going to look like in game. But yeah, very very nice. I'm uh, going to quickly just run that through without the uh, sound. And yeah, overall like it looks great. I I really like the aesthetic of this thing. Like these skins look great as well. Just overall, just it, it looks like it's going to be, at the very least, aesthetically pleasing, just to explore all of this. I'm really looking forward to it, honestly. There's the different skin designs. We've got an anime skin, the Battle Pass. Well, two, actually, if you include Aaron. And, uh, yeah, just, just overall a nice cyberpunky aesthetic. And this is the key art, or if I can get it just right. No, <laughs> of course not. Thanks, OBS. Um, not OBS, uh... Uh, whatever I'm using right now. Um, I hate I hate how how uh, VLC works. Come on, have we not? Can I, have I just frozen it now? Come on, just play the video. <laughs> uh, I've, I've broken it. But uh, yeah, looks very cool. The key art at the very end of the trailer. I think we see that at the end of the other trailer as well. So pretty pretty good. Is it gonna show me? No. Okay, let's get into the actual trailer. <laughs> And now we have the actual full trailer, the proper trailer. As I say, the bikes look really cool. The lizard, the, just the scale texture on him is great. And so far, like, all these skins look amazing. Like, the lizard guy looks great. Um, I, I believe the, the rabbit girl is High Rise, I believe that's her name. Looks very, very nice. And we are, by the looks of it, still keeping the older style bikes, uh, literally from last season, which is good to know, just alongside these new ones. And yeah, we're seeing all these, like, Neo things, I guess, fall from the sky, which is interesting. A lot of islands in their entirety, which is odd. And the barb was flying in, of course, with its uh, updated design. The fact that there's so many new areas coming through, I wonder how many map changes are actually going to be. Could be interesting. And yeah, the, the Tron aesthetic, so strong, I love it. It's ironic that it's taken this long after the Tron collab for us to actually get that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, we've got a bit of a Ripley signage in the background there. And uh, oh, we've got Monks, we've got DJ Yonder, and of course... Rest in peace, my guy, Little Whip. This was leaked that he was going to be dying in the trailer. Um, didn't want to believe it. This is an interesting looking skin. I believe she's the one that has the uh, the helmet on uh, some of the time. Or the skull helmet, I'm not sure though. 
And then we've got new drift coming through. Okay. That might have to be the uh the thumbnail right there. That's interesting. So yeah, a new drift variant comes through. Obviously drift originally being from our world, this could be an interesting uh change in the story. Aaron Yeager, of course, here. As well. Aaron looks amazing. Straight out of the straight out of the anime. I was about to say straight out of the comic. Technically straight out of the straight out of the manga, but uh Way more anime inspired. Uh, the whole grinding mechanic looks very fun. The new mechanic with the uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna rem remember what it's called, but the uh, the Titan gear is very cool. I love that. I hope I hope we do have the swords as housing tools because uh, that was something that the Core Duty collab for Attack on Titan didn't really have properly. Uh, not in the way I wanted, at least. Who have we got? We've got. Uh, uh, we've got Meow Schools, and we've got the techno version of Peely, we've got uh, uh, Dad Bod Jonesy. I think I recognise a lot of the Man Cake, obviously. Um, I recognise most of the characters, and I can't think what the name is. Ma Ma Malice, uh, the cool team leader in the background as well. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good representation here. That skin does look great. And I love that bike. That bike is going to be so good to drive on. And the new sword as well. But, uh, yeah, that this is the key art that, that I was on about. Though, obviously, uh, yeah, that, that's as good as we're getting to that. But that is the key art that you'll see when you're loading the game up, which is very nice. Showing off all the new features, or some of the new features at least. The new bike, the grinding, and the, uh, the Attack on Titan mythic. Very, very nice. And once again, I'll just throw that on silent. We'll just kind of discuss it as it go, goes back through. But, uh, yeah. I, I really like this. Like the over aesthetic, just the, the I mean, cherry blossoms, very nice as well. Uh, the story implications are not that strong, really. There's not really much in terms of story going on right now. Um, so that might change. We'll, we'll see. Oathbound didn't really lead, lead very far um, at the end of last season, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> Once again, rip my girl a little whip. Um, yeah, new, new drift. I think realistically, I've said everything that I kind of need to say, so, uh, yeah, as this just kind of plays on a little bit, I'm just going to give the outro, so thanks for watching, if you did like this quick little reaction video, uh, make sure to like it, subscribe now, tap the bell, see you never miss upload, and uh, otherwise tell me what you think of the season, at least based on the teasers so far, uh, in the comments below, but otherwise, that's going to be it from me, so I hope to see you next time, and, uh, yeah, bye! Look at the screen, you'll be fine Cultures of disease, but worlds survive I just wanna take